Hello. So, this is Life Seeker 128. The last time I did some some uh, some glitch hunting to correct the glitch. Um, I basically caught up to where I was before I discovered that my legs weren't working well. And uh, the legs are fine. The thing is, it is the industrial hand. If I load a save that has the industrial hand equipped, my legs go all weird for some reason. Anyway, about that, I am planning to get abducted by aliens today. But first, I, uh, I managed to um, get a better timeline <laughs> from my redo of the previous few things. Um, before I discovered the leg glitch. So uh, here we are. Um, I'm going to read the Chicago success entry report on the Chicago expedition that I failed before and succeeded on this current chain of events. So Chicago is a city that has fallen into ruin twice first with the Holocaust that followed the Great War, and then a second time with the collapse of the Midwestern Brotherhood of Steel. Although the expedition scoured across the city and the surrounding wasteland, no brothers could be found. Instead, there were only tribals who whispered tales of iron giants that once guarded the land against a mechanical threat. Such iron giants have apparently disappeared, although there are rumors of other iron giants hiding in the darkest crevices of Chicago that wave a star-spangled banner. The only evidence of the Brotherhood existing was a suit of their uniquely designed power armor found in an abandoned bunker. The Midwestern power armor has been brought back by the expedition and has subsequently been examined and repaired by scribes. You can find the power armor displayed in your quarters. Pretty cool. Alright, I'm just going to remove that from my scene and then we can get started and I can actually show you what that is. So. I already collected the rewards. They were not all that impressive, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. And I uh, sent the boys off to the same place I had before. I stopped stream last time. So, and here it is. It's uh, interesting, to say the least. Higher agility and strength. Interesting. Well, anyway, I don't plan to wear it, so we don't care. I'm bored. Um, let's see. What else? What else? So, um, I'm still using that, um, that, that chat display thing that's always on top so I'll still be able to see your chat messages during the stream and everything and technically it's morning. Good morning! Today we are going to go as I have discussed elsewhere
if at all possible. Now, this is probably going to fire my entire crew. But what other choice do I have? Also, um... The, uh, what was I going to say? Right. So, I am Lifeseeker128 on both YouTube and Twitch. I'm going to go into my spiel. So, if you've been watching my content, please, like, subscribe, and follow my channels. Also, Please comment if you disliked a part of my videos. I would love to know how to improve my style of entertainment, be it as it is. And I would just like to know exactly what you disliked about an episode. Because... I don't know, I'm, I'm always seeking to improve, but a dislike is not something I'm frustrated with. I'm more frustrated with the silence. So, I don't know. Dislikes are engagement, and engagement is good. It means that people are watching. Um, I just wish they would tell me what they dislike what they dislike about a certain episode specifically. What made them dislike the video. But, you know, it's a... It's a thing that I am not exactly... The fuck was that? Anyway, um... Not necessarily... Bummed about. Just means that... I can't improve from it. And I largely can't really improve from the views or the likes, but thank you for leaving those. Those are positive. But if you're gonna do if you're gonna leave something negative, then please tell me why. That's all I ask. Anyway. So If you're watching on Twitch, go see my YouTube. I've got all the VODs there. If you're on YouTube watching, then uh, go to my Twitch to catch me live. I am most likely streaming right now. That is if I try to release these VODs in the afternoon. I, I, I've been kind of toying around with how to stagger my... VOD uploads, or VOD publishes, and, um, I don't know, it's been a bit weird, hit or miss kind of shit, so, let me know your opinion on when you would like to see my VODs, uh, if you want to continue watching regularly, please, um, And thank you for leaving what engagement you have. It helps a lot. And without further ado, let's uh, get abducted by aliens. Easy thumbnail is easy. So I'm still going to be taking breaks. Um, let me just let this play.
more thumbnails, perhaps. The lost dog needs man's best friend perk. Yeah, I know. Hey, hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry, that'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. So anyway, welcome to Mothership Zeta. I uh, actually played through this DLC a little bit um, during a playthrough from years ago. So all of this, well, some of this is not very surprising to me, so do with that what you will. And, um, yeah, so let's get started. This has to be a bad dream. Yeah? Well, then wake the hell up, because I'm tired of being stuck in it. Sorry, kid, but this is really happening. You're stuck here just like me. So how do we get out of here? Been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to shit. Back against the wall now. Alright. Okay. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know. Maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here. I can't complain. What the hell was that thing? Where are they taking that guy? What? You've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid. Now! So how do we get out? Now you're talking. I can tell you, there ain't an easy way out of here. I've looked around, I can't find any panels, wires, circuits, nothing. I'm thinking they did us a favor putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. And for the record, the name's Soma. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, what kind of advantage? They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. All right, what's the plan? Something. Who knows what? Point is, if it looks like one of us is gonna kill the other, they'll step in to stop it. So that's what we do. We throw a few punches, make it look real, and then jump them when they come in to break it up. <sighs> okay, so we get out of this cell, then what? Hell if I know, but at least it's a start. It's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more. Yeah, I suppose. Um, this is stupid. There must be another way. Are you kidding me? Kid, I've looked. Trust me. Ain't no other way out of this little box we got us in. You want to satisfy your curiosity? Fine. Go ahead. You poke your little nose around and see what you come up with. All right.
Yeah, I don't know if there's another way out. <laughs> well, there's another. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's a way into another cell, but... Uh, fine. You can't find a way out, and so you're ready to go along with my plan. Am I right? <sighs> okay, go ahead and hit me. I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? Yeah, yeah. You'll be ready. As soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. Yeah! Come on, make it look good. Oh! 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 Hey, not too hard. Yeah, we're really fighting now, aren't we? Oh! 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 Hey, not too hard. Come on, make it look good. Okay. There we go. I got something. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hmm. I see that. Oh. Oh. You're mine. All right. So this is the the major thing that I wanted to get my unarmed up for. Um, because you're left with nothing. And I do mean nothing aside from your quest items. So yeah. Oh yeah, and your implant, I guess. Anything that's attached to you. Semi-lethal results for removal. Nope. Nope. Not real. None of it is real. It can't hurt me if it's not real. Alright, well. Whatever then. I'm just gonna be exploring really. Because I like stuff. Who doesn't like stuff? Yeah, you had only your freaking clothes. But I do want a hat. So there. Let's wear this hat. Okay, so those are the logs. Well, that's a good thing to know. I don't, I don't have them all, so I'm not, I'm not gonna listen to any of them until I can listen to them all in order. Cause I am kind of weird like that. We'll uh, listen to them all at the end, probably. Modify. Three more uses or it'll burn out. Alright. It's fine, it robs them of the same thing that it does. So. Nothing. No, 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 no. And by the way, if you're watching live, you'll be able to hear the tunes of Old World Radio from YouTube. But only if you're watching live, because I don't want to record that shit and risk it being um, a bannable offense. supposed to do with it. You have to shut that off to open the door here. Oh, not really shut it off. More like blow it up. If you turn off the coolant, 
It'll get really hot and then explode. So be careful, okay? I will try, little girl. That I suspect isn't really a little girl. Confused. Okay. It's gonna blow up. Are you sure? Kid, lead the way. Huh. Ah, I see. Oh, great. Well, so much for that idea. She suckered you good, huh? No, uh, I, I trust her. I don't see her on the other side of the door because reasons. Uh, you want to come with? Sure. I love exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. We'll have to be careful because they'll be mad that we're out. But it's okay. I know how to get through the steamworks. We need to get to the big engine room so I can show you the rest of the ship. Let's go. How do you know so much about this place? A long while. Sometimes I can sneak out of my cell and go explore. I've seen a bunch of the ship. It's pretty neat. But they always catch me and put me back here. Are you all alone? Where's your family? I don't have any family anymore. My mom and dad died a while ago before I ended up here. You know, back when all the bombs dropped on everything. Oh shit. It was right after that. And then me and my sister, we got pulled up here. Except, I haven't seen her in a long time. Do you know where we're going? Sure. We need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen him once or twice, but he's extra mean. I guess you'll probably have to kill him or something, huh? Let's keep moving. A 200-year-old child. The f the fuck? Well, I said some of this is not surprising to me, but that I I, I barely got out of my cell the, before. This is this is fascinating as fuck. Um, I mean. I've seen everything now but that. You ain't getting anywhere, man. And I'm not using a shock baton. Fuck that. I got my fists. Large alien crystal. Oh, it's my stuff. Cool. Let's use my stuff. Um, I had an alien weapon, didn't I? Alien blaster. Do I have any power modules? No, I don't. Uh, okay, shock batons are kind of alien. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it counts. But, uh, we're gonna see if it does. See if it does count. Okay, there's an enclave helmet here. Uh-huh. 
Anything else to see? Anything else hiding from me? Doesn't seem like it. Not from this angle. Right, and I open that. It's fine. Okay. I got nothing. Let's uh, keep, keep going, I guess. Strange tools. A strange malfunctioning device. Steam. I guess they're already looking for us. I can sneak past them in the vents, but you're too big to fit. We'll have to figure out how to get around. Um, I'll handle this. But I can help. I know. I know you can, but I guess there are I don't want you to get hurt. You're freaking valuable as fuck. Pretty much immortal. Just like ghouls. Well, not, not quite. You're kind of... I don't know. Fine, how about I distract them and you hit them from behind with a grenade? Really? I get to use a grenade? Neat! Yeah, go ahead. Um, use a plasma grenade. Got it. Give me a minute to sneak around them. Cool. Go. Oh, sorry. I, I was supposed to distract them. Right? Yeesh. Can I please get a better alien weapon than this? Sorry, I was uh, attempting to be a good partner in crime. Sorry. Sorry for ruining your big, big plan and all that, but... Uh, well, you got a grenade out of it. At least there's that. The fuck are these, like, spanners and... I, I, don't, I don't get it. There are? Alright, fine. I'm a ghost. Okay, now I'm a ghost. I don't have a key for this. Um... I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the shock baton. Uh, alien, enemy unknown, seven aliens, alienated, alien weapons, I guess that works, archivist, captive records, yeah, 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 okay, I guess it counts, so, yeah, eh, you can figure that out, it's fine, or don't. Or don't. Yeah, you're you're safer in there, kid. Go on, get in. Get in. What do you mean get in? I'm looting, man. Alright, I'll get in. Fine. Maybe there's good stuff in here, like a log entry or whatever. That is way too bright. 
so distracting. I'm not a fan of bright lights. They make everything else dim. So I can't really see. I mean, they do work. But, uh, I don't need them. Modifying them, though, gives me good, better healing. You know what? It is bright enough to just muddle through here without night vision. We don't need it. Atomizer. Is that like a disintegrator? Okay, which one's the pistol and which one's the rifle? I mean, seriously. They sound basically the same to me. Um. Well, let's have a look at it, I guess. Atomizer seems to be the pistol. And I got power modules. Yeah. Alien Blaster works now. Alien Disintegrator, shit. Alien Blaster is better. Get rid of the shock baton now. Alright, alien blaster acquired with ammunition. For a second there, I thought my limb was going crazy, but no. I'm just looking for shit now. Not much going on here. Not anymore. Anything of value? Anything collectible? No. None of these really help me anyway. Got your ammo though. I love that. Come on. No. Okay, fine. I guess we continue to the onward direction. That one at the end seemed pretty tall. I wonder why. Anyway, 30 second uh, eye break, I guess. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment in chat. Um, I'm just having a 30 second eye break for um, I've got a timer on my system that tells me to take a break every hour. And that was it. Let's make the alien go poof. No. Okay, there we go. Uh, you probably won't be able to see the... Would mind add me up on Discord to give you some tips on how to get more followers on your channel like mine. Add me on Discord. Okay. I can give that a try. I 
don't even know what that is, but I blasted it. So anyway, I started blasting. And my phone's going a little crazy. Let me have a look. Oh, packages. Okay. I can check that later. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. So, let's have a look see. Kill that dude. Fine. I'm I'm better at sneaking than you think. Alien epoxy. Uh, okay. Well, <clears throat> I will take your advice under advisement, little girl. I think I'm looking for logs mostly. I'm trying to find all of them. Also looking for enemies to shoot. For an, for another challenge. And the XP that entails. Just generally looking for loot because I collect everything. For what purpose I collect anything is. I don't know, just because I can. Yeah, this playthrough has been a whirlwind of I don't really care, but I kind of do. Oh, karma. Alright, well... Guess we're not killing those ones. That's weird. It's fine, I guess. Shock batons. All the shock batons. Modify. Uh. You're fine. I got steam in my face. Really does shit. Shock batons and atomizers everywhere. La di da. All right, I need to do. Some thingamajigs. So anyway, I might uh, add you on Discord during the break, um, which will happen roughly an hour. Kind of waiting for something from a family member, so I'll have a break during that and then probably uh, add you on Discord shortly thereafter.
modify. Is that it? Didn't seem like very much. Oh, no. Okay. Ignore me. I am a fool. A foolish fool. Alright, so we've already been down there, and we've done through the air, and through the there, and the there, and this, and those, and uh, just having a chill time with some music. My brother's talking in the hall, so I'm talking over him. Because you don't need to hear them. You only need to hear me. And the game. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. Disappoint me greatly. to shoot you because I was surprised. Anyway, moving through the things so I can get stuff, if at all possible. Uh, unfortunate. Um, back here? No? I wouldn't put, put it past to any installment of the game not to put little bitty secrets anywhere. Heal because healing is good because I don't have radiation. Although I could probably re up my radiation right now, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, alien worm food. Interesting. Glowing. Uh, radiate myself because I am effectively a ghoul. Hmm. 
should probably make a habit of grabbing more glowing mushroom because I end up going through that faster than the brain fungus. Rad Regen, ladies and gentlemen, is overpowered, and I love it. So, have this little girl who remembers the world before the war, but was abducted shortly after the bombs fell. And we have a woman. who obviously have some experience with the wasteland we know, at least to some degree. Who else are we going to meet, I guess? If we're going to meet anyone else, that would be great. Let me see about... What's this? Take your time to ensure... Oh, this is that wide shot thing. Air bullet lands right between your target's eyes. You gain a chance to hit your target's head. Cost... A 50% increased AP cost. The second rate increases your crit damage while attacking your target's head by 15%. That's actually pretty good. I can, I can take the AP loss. It's fine. Okay, we're not ready for that yet. I need to uh, circle around everything to make sure I got it all. Because I'm obsessed with looting absolutely everything. I'm just going to further irradiate myself. Just because. I drink it up. Just a mutant in human underwear. That's it. <laughs> Not clothing, underwear. Uh, yeah, because that's the most my character can wear for any of the bonuses I have chosen. And besides, if I uh, actually became a nudist in this game, then I'd uh, probably get banned off YouTube and Twitch and anywhere else that hosts videos. So yeah. Hmm. Like a lounge or something? the stuff, and I like the stuff. Give me more stuff. Okay, I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Oh, oh, okay. Um, just a minute. I'm doing a sacred rite. 
called looting. Maybe we'll be able to do some things with that later. What the hell is that? What the hell are these holograms for? Treasure. Treasure. Okay, let's follow the girl, because we can, to a degree. Aw, oh, nuts. Aw, oh, nuts. Turn it off. Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. It feels sort of tingly, too. Mm. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know. Come on, I know another way up. Okay. Ah, teleportation. Teleportando. Any logs in here? Can I get some logs? I haven't had a log in a long time. Confused. Shelves with stuff on it. I like stuff. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Well, who from the wasteland doesn't like stuff? Wait, is that duct tape? Why do they have duct tape? Confused. And I'm stuck. This is what you do in Fallout games. You play with cheats on, and whenever the game does something weird, you use cheats to get out of it. Glad we could have this chat. I'm just doing left hand strats like I usually do for most dungeoneering goals. I don't think we're ready for this. Paulson? Who's Paulson? I don't see no Paulson. I'm looking for logs. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I've never had the courage to wake them up, but I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Why do we need a spaceman? Well, because he's got a spacesuit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn off the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. Uh... Wait, we're in space? Well, of course we're in space. This is Mothership Zeta. Anyway. What are these things? In them and the people go to sleep. They stay asleep for a really long time, too. Be careful if you touch them, though. Hmm, really cryogenic stasis. Who are they? I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on, like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. I saw pictures of cowboys in books. 
I never saw a real one, though. Hmm. All right, let's talk to the astronaut. I, I, I think we can just hit the button. Interesting. Huh? You look similar to some other people I've seen. Oh, unfortunate. Anybody in there? No. The cowboy kind of left. Control. Oh, it's a log. Right. I've, I've forgotten about them. To a degree. Oh, Paulson is the cowboy. Someone? Huh. Interesting. Hello. I don't know. Oh great, you don't speak English? This is going to be a waste of time. I'm sorry, but I can't understand. Uh, I want to talk to this guy without the tack on because he's just cool. <laughs> and I have no idea what he's saying. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna look around, see what I can loot. Oh, hey, Paul. Where are they? Where are the little buggers? Aliens? They're all over the place. That's why I woke you. Aliens? That what you call them? So you woke me, huh? Who the hell are you? Trapped on this ship, just like you. Do I really look that stupid, kid? This ain't a ship. I don't hear water, and I sure as hell don't feel us rocking. So tell me another one. Besides, you don't look trapped to me. How do I know you ain't working with those little green bastards? Look, all I want to do is work together as a team so we can get home. The only teams I know are cattle, and they get led to the slaughter. That's why I work alone, kid. Now, you did let me out of that thing, so it counts for something. Tell you what, I usually ride solo, but I'll stick with you for now. You try and pull anything stupid, and I'll bury you. Are your parents anywhere Alright, as long as you don't shoot at us. For any reason. I think you're okay. Yeah. this is important. Since you seem so familiar with my gear, do you know how to repair it? Actually, I do. I used to tinker with all sorts of junk back home. I'd be glad to take a look at what you need fit, but it's gonna cost you some caps. Yeah, no problem. Well, given the circumstances, doesn't that seem kind of pointless? <laughs> yeah, fine, whatever, just take a look. Uh, does this is pointless? To you, it does, but hey, I gotta think about the future. If we get back down there and I'm broke, how am I going to survive? Uh, good boy. You know as well as I do that there are no handouts in the wasteland. Yeah, I guess you're right. <coughs> see eye to eye. Now, let me see what you need to fix. Poplars, alien blaster, you know, just everything. How about that? Oh, 
This is important. I want to talk to you. Uh, tell me how you were captured by these aliens. Not much to tell. I heard that radio signal. Thought I'd check it out. Thought maybe I could pull some scraps from whatever was sending the signal. Got a little more than I bargained for. Uh. What do you think the aliens want with us? I don't plan on starting a conversation to ask, you know? Alright. Can you tell me more about where you're from? Does it really matter? I mean, we're fighting to stay alive here. Whatever I did before we got to this point doesn't mean a whole lot right now. Not really. Found this recording. Sounds like you regret something. Oh, great. Alright, listen. Not that it's any of your damn business, but yeah. Before I got sucked up into this crazy alien land here, I pulled some shady stuff. Many of my associates may or may not have been slavers. And I may or may not have received payment for helping them in their trade. Okay. Big secret exposed. Great job. Hope you're happy. Okay. Tell me more about where you're from. Does it really... I mean, we're fighting to stay alive here. Fine. What do you know about this guy? I have no idea what his deal is. It sounds like that gibberish you can pick up on the radio in some parts of the wasteland. Mm. Well, I mean, he's speaking Japanese, yeah. but... Just don't think about ditching me. We're in this together. Alright. Yeah, we're in this together now. We're going to find it, okay? Thanks, Mr. Tukorian. Hi. What's, what's going on? Who are all these people? It's okay. We're, we're not going to hurt you. We're friends. What? I've never seen any of you before in my life. Oh my god! Aliens! I was taken by aliens! You! You must be the aliens trying to get into my mind. Well, that's not gonna work! Private Elliot Tekorian, U.S. Army Medic, serial number 3477809. That's all I'm telling you. You're a doctor, and you can't tell from looking at me that I'm no alien. Hey, you could be one of those little green guys in human form, or maybe you are human and they just took over your mind. We have no idea how limitless their powers are. If I were the aliens, the last thing I would have done is release you. I... I suppose so. Look, all I want to do is get back home and back to the rest of my squad. Wait a minute! My men! My unit! Have you seen them? I'm afraid not. All I've found are these. I'm responsible for them. And now they're lost. Or dead. Please, if you mean what you say, that we're all in this together, then you've got to help me find out what happened to them. Don't worry, we are in this together and I will help you. Thanks, thanks so much. Sorry about all this. I just can't believe this is happening. Uh, do you think you'll be able to help us medically if we need it? I'd really like to, but when I woke up on this ship for the first time, all of my medical gear was gone. Mm -hmm. I saw that the aliens on this ship have some sort of viscous stuff they slather onto wounds. Some kind of biological gel. Mm -hmm. Get me some of that, and I might be able to mess around with it, make some sort of adapted biogel we can use on ourselves. Okay. Uh, can you make some adapted biogel? Sure. Here you go. They should work pretty well, but watch out for side effects. Okay. Fascinating. What do you need? Tell me how you were captured. Well, it was getting dark. We had spent the day out in the country, keeping as many of the guys alive as we could. The Chinese had been pounding on us all day with artillery from these huge guns they had up on the mountains. It was really a mess. Anyway, we pitched our tents and stowed our gear to try and catch some shut-eye. 
I woke up suddenly, Private Dawkins screaming. He was bathed in some kind of blue light coming from the sky. Yeah, familiar. He just froze as he just, well, vanished. We didn't know what happened. Did the Chinese come up with some new weapon? Moments later, all of us were in the blue light too. The rest, you know. What do you think the aliens want with us? Obvious? They're probably using us as guinea pigs, examining our anatomy. Once they've figured out how to make exact copies of us, they'll send those copies back down to Earth to take our places. When they've copied enough of us, they'll turn on us and take over the world. Come on! How can you not see that coming? Uh, uh, tell me more about where you're from. I was a medic with the 108th Infantry Battalion stationed at Anchorage, Alaska. Right. I was with a squad of five other medics. Our job was to patch everyone up after the commies gunned them down. It was pretty bloody. Nothing at all like I expected when I gave up my hospital job to enlist in the army. Hmm. Anything about this guy? Japanese samurai. Guess the aliens must have plucked him from Earth a long time ago. I can't understand a word he's saying. Neither can I. Or maybe, just maybe, they're responsible for life on Earth. Like, they seeded the planet a really long time ago. And they've been coming back every once in a while to check on the progress. And now they've decided they don't like how it turned out. Can you imagine? They made us, and now they're pissed at us! What if this is just some horrible misunderstanding? Like, what if some radio waves got beamed into space and made it all the way to their planet? <laughs> only they didn't hear the nightly news or whatever. To them, it sounded like a declaration of war. So they decided to attack us first. Seriously, this whole thing could totally be our fault. Do you realize that? Hmm. Eh, I don't know about that. Sure, just watch my back and I'll watch yours. Alright. Um I hope this is important. I'm just talking. Hey Paul. What is it? Tell me how you were captured. Doesn't matter now. Only important thing is well, I guess it's revenge. What do you think the aliens want with us? Doesn't matter. They're not getting it, whatever it is. Tell me more about where you're from. I can't say as it matters, or that I'd feel like telling you anyway. I found this recording of you. Do you want to talk about your family? So you... you know? There's not much more to say. It wasn't just me sucked up into this place. My wife and my boy, too. I can still hear them. Crying out to me. Begging me to save them. And there wasn't a damned thing I could do. They were... They were everything to me, you know? So now I've got nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you. No sense in dwelling on it now. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Do you know this guy? A foreigner, obviously. Can't make out a word he's saying. Mm. You go do what you have to do. No, I will. Hey, bud. Um, okay, I, uh, right, um, so I think that might be a good point to stop and take a break. Yeah, so, um, Aliens. Aliens are happening. And, um, things are weird. And, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming by to chat. I will definitely get back to you on Discord. And, uh,
I am Lifeseeker128 on YouTube and Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, go see my YouTube for all the VODs. If you're watching on YouTube, come watch me on Twitch while I'm live. I've been trying to be live more and more and consistently. I'm, I'm just going to mute them right now. So, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my channels. And, um, please, give me feedback. Um, I really need feedback. Uh, preferably constructive, but just point out directly what what you don't like about a video if you leave a dislike because dislikes just confuse me to a degree uh, the likes and the likes and views are really good though they're positive and um, yeah So, this is Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands, and I am now playing through Mothership Zeta, which I haven't fully done before, and it's really cool. But anyway, of course there is more to come, like directly after this VOD. I'm going to be recording another one, so. <sighs> much more to come. Okay.